Hey friends, this is Miss Nicole. Today we will be making bubble makers with a toilet paper tube, water, and dish soap. So uh, we are actually going to do some bubble painting with it uh, a little bit later on. But first I want to show you how to make your super cool uh, bubble wand. So stick with me and I will be right back to show you what to do. Okay, so to my water, I added about two tablespoons of dish soap because I want this bubble solution to be super bubbly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stir it, and I will be right back so that I can show you how we're going to go ahead and make our easy bubble wand out of our toilet paper tube. Here on my hand, I have an old stretched out sock that I can't wear anymore because it keeps falling down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out over my toilet paper tube. And that is going to create a sort of um, cloth uh, screen for my bubbles to pop out of. So I will be right back. I'm going to stretch that over my toilet paper tube. Um, if you have a rubber band, go ahead and use that to secure it so it doesn't fall off. And uh, we'll get started with our bubble making. I've gone ahead and I've dipped my bubble wand into my bubble solution and as you can see it's pretty bubbly already but here's where the real magic happens when you blow into this end of the toilet paper tube you will get a long trail of bubbles I'm talking like crazy bubbles so what I want you guys to do is make sure that you don't inhale make sure you only blow out when you're um, making your bubbles because if you breathe in you might end up swallowing some bubbles and I'll tell you what that dish soap is safe but it doesn't taste good so here we go I'll show you how it works Alright guys, so here I have um, some watercolor paints. Um, you can go ahead and use tempera paint will probably work the best, or acrylic paint. And you're going to go ahead and mix it into your bubble solution. Add it until you feel like it's got a nice um, bit of color to it, because you don't want it to be too light. I'm going to start out with this blue, or you know what? I'm actually going to start out with the red, because when I add the blue to it, it'll make it a nice... Uh, purple. So I'm going to go ahead and add my red, stir it up, and then I'm going to dip my bubble wand back in and blow through the other end to create a bubble trail onto my pink construction paper. Alright, so here I have dipped my bubble wand into the red paint, and here we go. So there you got some of your uh, some of your bubbles, and when they dry, just like that, you have an imprint. I just went ahead and blew away those bubbles. I'm gonna go ahead and add some blue paint and see what you can do with that. But as you can see, it makes like a cool little design on your paper. All right, so now I've gone ahead and added the uh, ultramarine blue to my red uh, paint solution bubble solution. So now I'm going to dip my wand in that and then go ahead and um, blow some bubbles all over my pink canvas. So here's what it's starting to look like as it dries a little bit. Very cool texture that it creates. We go with our purple. So I'm just kind of blowing through um, my bubble wand and I'm letting them sit for a minute right on our canvas. And then I go ahead and I blow it off so that it doesn't um, create more of just these blobs. We want this kind of texture. <sighs> there we go. We got some cool stuff happening. <sighs> oh, that one's really cool. So you're just going to continue doing this all over the paper until you're happy with the way it looks. So I'll be right back after I um, explore with this. And again, I'm just blowing straight into the bubble wand and laying the bubbles down on the paper and then blowing them off. There they are over there and letting this dry. Here's for the grand reveal. I'm going to go ahead and blow all my bubbles off. 
and we're gonna see how it looks. As you can see, we got some streaks of blue because apparently I didn't mix my solution enough, but I actually quite like how that looks. And look at that little uh, baby bubble over there. That turned out really cool. All right. So here we have these really awesome designs. It's almost like coral, I would say. I really think that's awesome. Um, so there we have it. That's how you use bubbles to paint. Um, it's a really cool technique, and you can just take your bubble wand outside and just have a nice uh, fun time blowing bubbles for all your neighbors. Um, so I hope you guys are having fun and staying creative inside. And I will see you guys real soon. Have a great day.